Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically different types of savings options, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So one of the first ways that students learn to save is through a piggy bank. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a pig, but it's just a little ceramic toy that's got a slot in the back and you can save money. And so one of the things to always be thinking about is what is the interest on this piggy bank? That means as the longer that you keep your money in the piggy bank, how much money do you get back? And in this case, there's, there's none. So your money just sits there. And so the risk is very low. Now, it doesn't mean there's no risk. Uh, there's a possibility that your little brother or sister could break it. You could lose it. But basically, your money is just sitting there, and it's not going away, but it's not doing anything for you. A lot of people talk about savings as having money do something for you. In the bank, we have two different options. So you can have a savings account in the bank, and the interest is low, but they will actually pay you money for keeping your money in there. So if you were to leave your money in the savings account for a year and not do anything with it, when you came back a year later, there'd be a little bit more money because they would have paid you just a little bit. And the risk, I'm gonna say the risk is none because even if the bank gets robbed, your account is insured by a larger organization called the FDIC. So the federal government guarantees the money in your savings account up to a certain amount, usually $100,000. So the savings account has a lower risk, but through the bank, you can also have what they call a CD. That's called a certificate of deposit. And it actually has a little bit higher interest. Um, it's not necessarily great interest. You're not gonna find some place that's gonna give you tons and tons of interest money, but it's got higher interest than the savings account. And it is no risk at all because just like the savings account, they are uh, typically insured by the FDIC. So if for some reason something happened, the federal government will give you your money back. Now, the thing with the CD is you've got to keep your money in for a certain amount of time. Um, could be six months, could be one year. You figure out what it is when you sign up for it. The savings account, you can pull your money out anytime you want to, it's your money. Now, if you pull your money out early, it's not going to gain as much interest because they give you interest based on how much money you have in the account. In this CD, you're basically sending your money away and you're locking it up for six months to one year. You're not going to have any access to it. But in that six months, one year, two years, whatever the CD is for, typically the longer the CD, the higher the interest. Then you get that money back with the interest. So you don't really have access to that money while it's gone. Now, the final one is called a bond and bonds are basically IOUs. If you're familiar with the term of an IOU, that means someone owes you something. So we use these letters to literally mean I O U. And so this is when uh, city governments, we have uh, businesses, all kinds of corporations, state governments, county governments, um, they will try to raise a lot of money by issuing a series of bonds. So let's say, for instance, a large city near you wants to build a new baseball stadium. So their baseball team doesn't leave to another city that's promising to buy them a bigger baseball stadium. Well, the city will try to raise money in order to build that baseball stadium by issuing bonds. Now, typically the city uh, has to get the permission of their voters, so there's typically a vote or an election, and it's called a bond election. Sometimes schools will do the same thing. If uh, school districts are trying to raise money and they don't think they have enough money, they will have an election and the people will vote, do they want a bond? So it, when it's called a bond election, that simply means that the organization, the government, whatever it is, is putting this debt out. Where you come in is you have the opportunity to buy some of these bonds. These are debts. Uh, typically, your interest is going to be higher, but the problem is you have a much higher risk. And I'll say it's a high risk. If for some reason these companies, these businesses go out of business, you lose all your money and you don't get any of it back. So it's a higher risk, but a higher risk.